Okay then. Uh, welcome, uh, I guess. Uh, I'm Weird Alexander, not to be confused with Yankovic the Great. And this is Haven Moon. A weird little art they thing made, made by, uh, well, uh, Francois Russell, it said, I think. Sorry, it doesn't really, I can't really capture it. Also, it's kind of loud. Anyways, uh, getting in character, getting in character, uh, where am I? Why am I? How am I? What's going on? Here's a, a knob. Notice. Note. Welcome to Celios, the moon of planet Memra. After a cataclysmic event, Memra was destroyed. Since I was on Celios when it happened, I was spared and became the last survivor of my civilization. With all the machinery at my disposal, I made a teleport as the ability to scan the universe and look for people from other worlds. Cool. If you are reading this message, it means that this device worked correctly, but also means that I can't be there in person to welcome you. In that case, I wish to give you my treasure, patiently collected during my lifetime. The key on the back of this device contains the teleportation coordinates that allow you to activate the Eteon and go back home. Hector Turin. Okay, Mr. Turin. You have my attention, because I don't have much choice. And this is something. Hold on, let me uh, tweak mouse sensitivity a bit. Tweak it up a bit. Oh, too much, too much. Yeah, this game is like a pet project of this one guy, Francois Russell. Oh god, he's French, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Very, uh, Victorian steampunkish area. Basically, Frank, it was like, uh, you know how Miss had that thing from Selenetic Age with the big rocket ship from Jules Verne? Well, if the game was nothing but that. Well, not just a rocket ship, you know what I mean. Uh. Electric cannon? That sounds dangerous. Uh. It's a weird looking house. Don't think it needs to be a tower, but okay, I don't know. A lot of ocean here. From Menra, Celios is a wonderful sight. This moon, completely covered with water, seems to shimmer constantly. In daytime, its unique ocean reflects the sunlight, and at night, it's because of its vast stormy zones, it sparkles like a precious stone. Lucky you, I guess. For thousands of years, Celios has captured the imagination of everyone who's ever lived on Menra, and during my whole life, I always dreamed to travel there. Thanks to the success of my inventions in many technical and scientific fields, I had a huge fortune at my disposal to make this dream come true. For many years I've studied Celios' surface. I drew maps of its stormy and calm zones. I also discovered the presence of many small islands where it would be possible to settle down. Using various means at my disposal, I engineered an airship able to travel in space and bring everything necessary for me to build a base at Celios. I think it, this is it. The first island has been set up as the one on which you're currently standing. It has a docking platform for the two airships going back and forth between Menra and Celios. An office with a telescope facility on top, an electric turbine, and a port to moor the exploration boat. To easily find your way at sea, each port has a beacon that can be identified by a number of times it flashes. If the weather is clear, it's possible to see the beacon of any of the other islands because of the island's proximity to each other. Good to know. After the discovery of the other islands, and once new facilities were built on them, a network of stations set up for a small electrical airship that facilitated movement from one facility to another. Still need to improve the liability of this battery, whose capacity deteriorates quickly. Facing the base island is an island composed of two craters where I built a laboratory to experiment on wireless electricity transmission. Ooh, like Tesla. It was doing the experiments that I was able to master the uh, techniques used by a teleporter that brought you here. And I must clarify, Nikola Tesla, not Elon Musk Tesla, as 
that guy just cashing in on some dead guy's name recognition, I guess. I don't know, kind of weird. I don't know, I guess Disney's doing it, but he, like, he actually founded it to begin with, so, I don't know. The access to this facility is protected by a code. That the laboratory is composed of the number of its speaking flashes, followed by its horizontal coordinates. Okay. So there's a, okay, three things to note. There's a turbine here, and there's a laboratory code. Yeah, stairs are a bit weird in this. Oh, son of it. Come on. Also, there's a run button. Gotta be slow and steady. Telescope aisle. Cannon aisle. Map of all the aisles. Lab aisle. Wait, house aisle is not on here. But it's here. Hmm. Okay. Islands installations. Very cartographer-y. Uh. I take it this is a telescope. That is not working. Hmm. Well, it, again, turbine. You gotta find that somewhere. Because you can't have uh, missed the adjacent game without some arbitrary way to turn on the lights. Speaking of, that's a damn pretty skybox, don't you think? Wish you could see Manor from here, but presumably it's covered by clouds. Alright, let's. Oh, there's a dock over there. Let's, in, let's explore. Uh huh. Rocco, don't you dare. Sorry, dog's growling at something. Okay, what's this do? Oh, yeah, no power. Well, presumably this thing does it. Uh huh. Good old hydroelectrics. And this is a gauge. All right. Let's uh, get this positioned properly, I guess. Got up your mouse over it. Right click, turn it the other way. Rocco! Rocco, no! Rocco, no! I don't want you to go off on that now. Rocco! Okay, we're getting the gauge. You see the gauge? Maximum. Hey, lights! You see the lights? Here's some lights. Back out! No! Shut! Shut! Oh wait, did I, wait, did I not do something? Wait, wait... Oh. I guess those lights were just that color. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. You can actually see some light in them. Okay, I take it this is island number one. If we're giving them an arbitrary number. Okay. So I haven't checked this thing out. Uh tramway I think. Okay, so uh, this is the base. Let's go to lab. It's fair enough. And away we go. Apparently I'm missing something. 
Yeah, whatever. Uh, we'll get back to this next time.